class. If you've taken some of my other videos, you'll know that we tend to start class with some elongated breath work. We're not gonna do that today as we're gonna jump in a little bit quicker into our flow. If that's something you need to get grounded before practice, feel free to pause the video, do some breath work, and then jump back in when you're ready. Coming on to all fours, let's find child's pose. And for the purpose of today, we're gonna to curl our toes underneath and really distribute our weight over our big toes as we push our hips back and the chest begins to lengthen over the thighs, arms outstretch, head relaxes. Nice big inhale in through the nose, fill the belly. Exhale, let it go. Inhale, feel the rib cage expand, belly expands. Exhale, come together. Placing some even pressure into our toes so that we open up the bottoms of our feet. That's gonna be a theme in class today you'll see as we move through our practice. Today's flow is gonna get a little spicy in nature. So as we're practicing today, I want you to think about practicing you. If the flow flows, let it flow. If it doesn't, let it go. The positions will be modified and progressed and regressed throughout class. And just find a path that works best for you. Finding our way onto all fours, let's rotate through some cat and cows. Our hands are spread wide, shoulder blades peeling away from one another. Keeping the toes curled under to open up the bottoms of the feet. Exhale, round the back towards the ceiling. Shoulder blades roll away. Inhale, drop the belly towards the mat, open the chest through the arms, cow. Use the wave of your own breath pattern to rotate between these two postures. Two more deep breaths. Last one. Finding center, the place between cat and cow, let's turn our hands so that our fingers look at our knees. Opening up the forearms, if this is enough pressure, stay right here, or begin to press the hips back towards the heels, keeping the palms grounded to the mat. Inhale, sort of release, and then exhale, press back again. Inhale, open. Exhale, lengthen. Two more deep breaths. Let our hands swivel back around so that the fingers look to the front of the mat. And let's find our very first downward facing dog. Pedal out our feet, spread the toes wide, press strong through the hands. Allowing ourselves to move however feels comfortable. So maybe that's hip side to side. Maybe it's lifting one leg and then the other. Two more deep, deep breaths. Right leg lifts behind us. We draw the knee slightly in towards the nose and drop the knee to the ground, kickstand it back as we come into a supported side plank. Top arm lifts in line with the shoulders, fingertips reaching high. Taking the back leg, lifting it in line with the hip, push through the heel, toes towards the shin. And then we're gonna rotate around and bring that top leg into a low lunge position. 
Stacking the knee over the ankle, back knee is underneath the hip. Take the hand, press it down in towards the thigh and allow that shin to draw forward, keeping the heel completely connected to the ground, opening up the ankle joint. Taking the forearm down if it feels comfortable. Releasing the pressure, curling the back toes into a full lunge, stepping all the way into a standing balance. Back knee comes all the way up, parallel to the ground, arms overhead. Get long through that left standing leg. And then as we exhale, leg and arms drop forward fold. Spread the toes nice and wide, feel the arches lift. Inhale, begin to lift up onto our toes, lift the heels, keeping the heels pulling towards one another and the weight distributed over the big toe. Slowly release. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Last one, inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Bend the knees, place the hands on the ground, downward facing dog. Left leg lifts. We draw in slightly as the knee comes down, kick stands back, grounding the back foot, pressing the back side of that foot down into the ground, lift into your supported side plank. Top leg lifts, push through the heels, and then round around all the way to our low lunge. Hand comes to the thigh, press as we lengthen the heel into the ground. Forearm comes down, add that pressure. Slowly release, back toes curl underneath. Find your standing balance, find your focal point. Arms up, knee parallel to the ground. Strong length in the arms. Rib cage is directly over the hips. Exhale, hands and foot drop forward fold. Spread the toes. Inhale, lift the heels. Imagine you have a ball between your heels and you're pushing into it. Slowly release. Two more times. Inhale, lift. Right over the big toe. And release and open. Lengthen down, bend the knees down, facing down. Let's drop onto our knees, keep our, cur our toes curled underneath, and begin to press our hips back so that we sit on our heels. If that's not comfortable for you, then stay in the all four position. Let's take our hands behind our back. If you're in all fours, go ahead and take a cat pose. Feel the heels pull together if you're sitting back on your heels. And then let's slowly release down to all fours, lengthen into down dog. Right leg lifts, foot comes in, knee comes in slightly, drop, find that supported side plank. Lift the hips, lengthen the arms, strong through the hand. Top leg lifts, come around into your low lunge. And lengthen the back leg. And this time, fully stand all the way into that standing balance, arms up, knee up. Changing our transition, finding our way to lunge pose. Allow that right leg to come behind us, bend through the front leg, control, find the mat, lengthen the torso. Tailbone looks down, well done. Hands come down, downward facing dog. Inhale forward to plank. Feel the shoulder blades rolling away Squeeze your glutes, and then imagine you're pushing your heels back without actually pressing the body. Peel back, downward facing dog. 
left leg lifts. As the knee comes towards the nose, we drop it onto the mat, kick stand the foot back, supported side plank. Top leg lifts. Swoop around into low lunge. Curl the back toes. Find your standing balance. Arms up. Grow tall through the standing leg. Control back into lunge pose. Squeeze the back glutes, tailbone looks down. Arms are extending as close to the ears as we can get them. Hands are active. Hands come down to frame the foot, to kick back, downward facing dog. Finding plank on the inhale. Now, coming into Chaturanga, it'll be a press down and up. If you need to take the knees down, Please feel free, elbows hug in, lower down, even if it's an inch, press all the way back up. Downward facing dog. Right leg lifts. Draws in between our hands. Find your lunge. Slowly lift. Hands come down, forward fold. Bend the knees, circle sweep, reach towards the ceiling. Exhale into chair, tailbone stays looking at the ground. Inhale, lift. Exhale, fold. Left leg is in front, right leg steps behind us, find your lunge. Set up from the ground, feel the lift. Hands come down. Downward facing dog. Bend the knees to come down to the ground. Sit back on your heels. Open up the bottoms of the feet. Take the hands behind us. Clasp the hands. Open the chest. Coming back onto all fours. Curl the toes, downward facing dog. Right leg lifts. Knee comes in, drops to the ground. Kick stand back, supported side plank. Top leg lifts. Swoop around, low lunge. Straighten the front leg, draw the toes towards the shin. Settle the left foot back down to the ground. Curl the toes on that back foot, extend. Standing balance. Adding on, back into our lunge. Slow and controlled. Drop the back foot, warrior two. Eyes gaze over the front fingertips. Pivot on our back foot as we come all the way around. Downward facing dog. Inhale, forward to plank. Lower down, chaturanga, knees down or up, all the way to the ground. Feel the collarbones spread the chest as we lift, hands come up, big toes connect. Exhale back, downward facing dog. Left leg lifts. Knee comes towards the nose, find that supported side plank. Ground the back toes towards the ground, long edge of the mat. Lift the top leg. Swoop around, find your low lunge. Straighten the front leg, pull the toes towards the shin. Reground the foot as we curl the back toes into a full lunge. Find your focal point. Find the rise into your standing balance. Slow and controlled, back into lunge pose. Warrior two. Round the back edge of the foot to the ground. Lift through the arch. Knee looks out over the toes. Pivot on the back foot as we come around, forward fold. Back 
Bend our knees, circle sweep, reach towards the ceiling. Feel the rib cage connect to the hips. Exhale into chair, hold here, a few breaths. And then we're gonna to begin to lift onto our toes. So maybe we lift just one heel, keeping the other grounded, or we begin to extend the other one. Exhale, arms and legs lengthen, forward fold. Downward facing dog. Adding on, right leg lifts. Supported side plank. Top leg lifts. Swoop around, low lunge. Straighten and lengthen the front leg. Maybe we can come and sit back onto our back heel. Maybe not, find what works. If you're on your back heel, really open up and press into the big toe. And then as we come up, remember we're gonna find that standing balance. Extend the back leg, swoop up. Control lunge pose. Reach back. Steady the front leg. Squeezing the glutes. Active through the arms. Warrior two, back foot comes parallel to the front as we open up. Squeeze the tips of the shoulder blades. Into side angle. So left hand is coming down, either forearm to thigh or coming down hand to the ground. That hip is still gonna pull underneath as we stack the shoulders. If you have a block handy, that can work too. Slowly close as we pivot on our back foot, back into downward facing dog. Finding plank, chaturanga, into cobra, peel the shoulders up, feel the inner thighs squeeze together. Let's find locust pose, extend the arms, Fingertips look towards the toes. Lift and squeeze the glute, lift the legs, lengthen the head. Slowly release, downward facing dog. Left leg lifts. Into your supported side plank. Ground the back foot. Lift and open. Top leg lifts. Swoops around, low lunge. Straighten and lengthen the front leg. If you can, curl those back toes underneath. Sit all the way back. Feel the opening of those feet. Slowly come in, find that standing balance. Maybe moving with a little bit of speed, maybe not. Get tall, get tall, get tall. Lunge pose. Here we move slow and controlled. Finding our warrior two. Feel the hip open the knee so that it tracks closer to that third to fifth pinky. Side angle, we drop through the shin, keeping the heel connected. Back hip is still gonna come underneath as the hand forearm to thigh or down and we stay lifted. That back hip is still tucking. Pivot on the back foot as we close, forward fold. Bend the knees, circle sweep, reach towards the ceiling. Finding chair, holding here. Coming up onto one or two toes. Now holding ourselves up on our toes, let's begin to straighten our leg. Keep the heels lifted, keep them lifted, keep them lifted. Lengthen. Sink back into chair, keeping those heels lifted. Find your focal point. 
Lengthen everything forward, fold. Well done. Bend the knees. Plant the hand. Find your way to down dog however you need to. So maybe that includes a flow, uh, chaturanga, any chaturanga of your choice, any back bend of your choice. So maybe it's cobra, maybe it's locust. Exhale back. Downward facing dog. Let's add on. Right leg lifts. Supported side plank. Feel the side body extend. Let's even take the arm over the ear this time. Lift the top leg. Find your low lunge. Straighten and lengthen that left leg. Maybe we sit back onto that heel. Prepare standing balance. Find your way there. Control into our lunge. Settle into warrior two. Keeping the back hip tucked underneath the rib cage down, we find our side angle of choice. Beginning to find revolved balancing half moon, we pivot on our back foot as our right hand fingertips cup and come to the ground just slightly above the foot. We extend our standing leg and kick our back leg through the heel in line with the hip. We can stay here with both fingertips on the ground in a three-pointed balance, or begin to rotate the body over the left leg, stacking the shoulders if we can, pull the left heel back to the ground. Left hip pulls away from the rib cage. Slowly close left hand to ground. And we're gonna add on our lunge pose. So slow, if you can lift your hands and really work the strength of that front leg, do so. Connect the back foot, squeeze the glutes, rise. Lengthen the heel. Hands come down. Kick that left leg back, three-legged dog. Walk the hands back towards the right foot. Standing split. Slowly drop the back leg. Walk out, downward facing dog. Left leg lifts. Supported side plank. Knee comes down. Kick stand it out. Arm comes over the ear, elongate the body. Top leg lifts, low lunge as we rotate around. Curl the back toes if you can, sit the hips back, straighten the front leg. Focal point into that standing balance. Control, control, control into lunge. Slow motion. Tailbone looks down, rib cage connects. We lengthen those arms nice and tall. Warrior two, open up. Pull the back hip underneath as we shift forward through the shin, grounded through that back heel still. Side angle, forearm to thigh or hand to ground. Squeeze the inner thigh into the arm. Three-pointed balance or balancing half moon. We come down, rotate on that back foot. Fingertips are not death gripping, remember, not death grip yoga. Lengthen the front leg, extend, really kick. Pull the hip away from the rib cage. Rotate if you're rotating. Coming to center, 
Find your lunge, work your strength here. Three-legged dog as the hands come down. Walk back towards that left leg. Standing split. Forward folds. Walk out to down dog. Drop the knees, child's pose. Allow yourself a minute to reconnect. Enhancing this flow with a toe stand. So ankles need to be super healthy to do a toe stand. Blocks come in handy. If you have them, don't worry if your fingertips be on the ground. And as we go through, if you're going to take out the toe stand, you're going to stick with the lunge option that we just did back to uh, standing split. Let's go ahead and find them. This is where we're spicing up our life, people. We're going to take either full side plank this time or supported. So if you want to stick with supported, go ahead and find supported. If you want full side plank, shift forward, weight to the right hand, lift and open your joints. Top leg lifts. Swoop around, lunge or low lunge. Straighten the front leg with either the back leg down or extended. Shift forward, find that standing balance. Controlled into lunge. Warrior two. You guys are pros now, you know what to do. Side angle or extended. Revolve, back foot pivots, fingers come down, three-pointed balance, or revolve the torso over the standing leg, balancing, revolved, balancing half moon. Okay, so let's come in. If you don't wanna do toe stand, you're gonna go back to lunge pose like we did in the last round. If you're going to try the toe stand, fingertips come down. We're going to bend that standing leg as we bring the right knee and toes to the ground. So connect the toes, connect the knee, and then we're going to shift back onto that right foot as we extend the left leg. So this is where your blocks may become in handy, or maybe your hands, or maybe you want to play around with it. It's okay if you fall over. Hands come down if you're lifting. So if you're in lunge pose, make your way back to three-legged dog, and then walk those hands back into standing split. Now, I'm gonna get you to standing split from here, for those of you in the toe stand. So let's begin to lift the hips, peel them up off the heel. We're gonna come, release that right foot to the ground, and watch that left leg, ta-da, is in standing split. Maybe you take a hand to one ankle, maybe you take away both. Challenge that balance today. Slowly release, forward fold, walk out, press back, downward facing dog, left leg, other side. So if you're lifting or side plank or supported side plank or wherever you're going, let's find this on the other side. Well done. Top leg lifts, swoop around, lunge or no lunge, straighten and lengthen, play with the hips, right heel peels, right hip peels back, left hip comes forward, into your standing balance, strong, strong, strong still, we're not getting sloppy, lunge pose controlled, Warrior two, open up. Take a moment, check your alignment, make sure you're good. 
Knees are tracking, hips pulling under, rounding that back edge of the foot. Everything stays here except for we shift forward into side angle or extended side angle. Back hip still pulling underneath. Three pointed balance or balancing half moon as we pivot around. Right hip is peeling away from the ribcage. So remember, if you're coming back to lunge, find your lunge and be happy there. If not, come down. Yeah. Front leg begins to bend as we bring that toe knee. If you can find knee first, find knee first. Ah, curl the back toes. Rock back. Find your toe stand. You're still in lunge if you took the lunge option. Now maybe you can lift on one side only. Play around with it. Have fun. If you're lifting, hands come down. Standing split. So remember, if you're coming from the toe stand, we're gonna lift that hip and pull that right leg straight through. If you're in lunge, three-legged lunge, excuse me, three-legged dog, straight back. Walk the hands back, find your standing split. Slowly lengthen. Facing up. Side plank, right hand is down or supported side plank. Top leg lifts. Come around into lunge or low lunge. Straighten and lengthen. Standing balance, right knee pulls parallel to the ground. into lunge. Warrior two. Extended side angle or side angle. Three pointed balance or revolved balancing half moon. lunge or toe stand. So remember, we're going to fight. We're going to fight for that knee to come down versus the toe does. You might notice on one side it needs to come down, then versus the other. Rock back. Open up. Lunge or toe stand. If you're in lunge, three-legged dog, find your way into standing split. So we're lifting those hips. Extending the left leg or walking our hands back. Hands come down. We're going to take a three-legged plank if you feel okay with that. If not, you're going to drop the leg as it comes out to plank. So if you're coming out to three-legged plank, that left leg is going to stay lifted. Draw the knee towards the nose. Cross it over. Four-legged down dog. Excuse me, figure four down dog. Now we're going to shift forward slightly on our hands, and we're going to take that left leg, thread it through the body, really push the leg out. We'll drop onto the side, ground that back right foot as we open up. Slowly close. You're going to pull that left leg back slightly. We're going to round down and bring this top right leg around. Now, we're going into warrior three out of here. So we're here. Find your focal point. Feel the extension. Extend the arms. Now, because I love you oh so much, either uh, standing split, Hands are going to come to the thigh and you're just going to come all the way down nice. Or bring those fingertips down and stick the three-pointed balance. Your choice. Control into a lunge. Bend that right standing leg. Open up. 
downward facing dog, other side. Last round, my friends, last round, left leg lifts. If you're coming into side plank supported, drop the knee down. If not, bring the foot back down, open up. Top leg lifts, swoop around, lunge or low lunge. Straighten and lengthen, pull the toes. Standing balance. Keeping integrity. Lunge pose. Warrior two. Into side angle. Pivot closed, three-legged, three-pointed balance, or revolved balancing half moon. Kick through the heel, active and engaged. As we round down, you find either lunge or that toe stand, so we come down, bend the front knee. See if you can lift that back heel towards the glute to let the knee come down first. Rock back, find your toe stand. Lungers, go ahead back into three-legged dog. And then let's find our way, both of us. Lift the hips, extend, find your standing split. We walk out to three-legged plank. Knee draws in towards the nose. Crosses over, figure four down dog. Inhale, slightly in, thread the right leg through, rotate on that back foot, ground the edge, slide through and open up. Screw the hand into the ground, strong through the arms. Now, pull back slightly through that extended leg, close the hip, let it come around to stand. Right, warrior three, check that balance. Standing split or three-pointed balance, your choice. Control, torso towards thigh. In standing split, leg lifts, hip closes. Control, control, control into your lunge. Hands come down, forward fold. Well done, y'all. Let's take our feet just slightly wider than hips. Toes looking forward, arches lift. Drop down into a yogi squat. And then slowly release down. Come all the way up and let's come onto our backs. Hug our knees into our chest. Roll gently side to side in a circle. Let's bring our left foot to the mat, right leg crosses over figure four. Pull the hip open. Arms come out to the side like a T. Palms face up. Left hands are going to come and grab the shin of the right leg. Maybe you want to stay here. Or keeping grounded through your right shoulder, we're going to let the legs fall in this position over to the left.
slowly come back to center. Release the right leg, placing the foot on the ground. Left leg crosses. Arms out like airplane wings. Right hand comes to left shin. Let the legs fall as they may, rounding the left shoulder. Slowly come back to center, knees come into chest. As we find our way into a very much deserved final relaxation, pose of choice, recline butterfly pose, savasana with the arms out, legs out. Resettle the breath. Feel the feet relax. Releasing any tension through our thighs or our glute muscles. Feel the shoulder blades connect to the ground beneath us. Palms are faced up as we feel open through the chest. We release the tongue from the roof of the mouth. Allow the jaw to soften, even if the mouth is closed. Feel our eyes grow heavy in the sockets. Feel the eyebrows slide down the sides of our face as we relax the forehead. Slowly beginning to wiggle the fingers and the toes. Allow the arms to lengthen long overhead, legs lengthen long. Good morning, stretch. Knees come in one and then the other towards the chest. to our side that's most comfortable. Press ourselves up to a comfortable seated position. Our spine on over our hips. the shoulders roll up towards the ears and then back down closing our eyes let's bring our hands to heart center chin tucks towards the chest I hope you had as much fun flowing today as I had teaching today no matter what path you took if you took some poses out and honored your body or you put on your flowing pants and turned up the heat to caliente I hope you enjoyed 
our time together. Take a nice big inhale, arms up overhead. Exhale, from my house to yours, namaste.